Um, so my little preamble is, is that um, I pitched a couple stories, but this is my interpretation of wildlife. I'm 18 years old, and this is the first time I've ever gotten crabs. <laughs> this is a rite of passion for gay guys that just, you don't know what's going on. For days after a tryst before my graduation, I'm still living at home. His name's Todd, you never forget your first. <laughs> He drove a motorcycle, and he never talked to me again. And, I, you know, I don't know why I didn't know what was going on, but I just was, I was itchy, let's just say. And finally, I didn't get it in my head until I'm getting into, getting to work, uh, and this is in Winnipeg in 1983. St. Fatal Center at Astral Photo. Serving up your photos back when we had those doors. And I'm getting ready, and I discover this, and I don't know what to do, and I panic, and I call my friend, and I, he starts to laugh, because it's like, I don't know, I'm just 18, like, what the hell are these things? So he tells me what to do, go to the store and get colada, it's a brand name, you shampoo, that's all great. But, however, I had to go to work still, and spend the whole shift serving people, knowing that there's little critters. <laughs> Hi, can I take your photo? It was, so I get home and I do the colada, we're all good, and that's it. A year later, I move with my friend that I work with at Astral Photo to France for a year, and I'm in the south of France. There's three of us sharing a small studio apartment, literally one room for three people about this size, headed off by Another room where there's a kitchen with a window and a shower right behind. And then right beside it is the toilet with a little wall and no door. <laughs> I learned what doors were for during that time in France. And one day when I'm all alone, I lie down and I put my arm down. And I look over and I see something moving. I'm like, no, no. Now, let me say, say now, I'm living in France. I've got tourist French. I am so shy about speaking French. In fact, I was so shy at the time of before when I went to university, I would drop any course that meant I had to do any public speaking. And I just would speak so softly in French because I was so afraid I was going to make a mistake and sound like these horrible Anglophones that are jabbering and bière, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> And for me, this was very traumatizing. It was hard enough to order a meal, let alone the thought of, how do I find out, first, what are crabs called in French? <laughs> it's not like there's iPhones back then, and you could just look that, look that up. I'd have to look that up in a book. And still, I'm not even quite sure, because I'm not, you know, a petit bit. It's like, I don't know. So... And plus, I've got two other roommates, you know. These things can crawl around, and, and that would be so awkward and embarrassing to try to figure out how to deal with that if someone mentions that. So I am deathly afraid. I go to the little pharmacy, and it's not like shoppers here, which are huge amounts of, you know, rows and rows of stuff. The pharmacies there are very small and intimate, and everything is behind the counter. So you have to go up and ask the pharmacist with a bunch of people around for the product that you want, and it's a brand name. So they're not going to know what the hell I'm talking about. So I try, first of all, buying stuff for lice, thinking maybe that will work. Now I'm in such a tiny studio and there's no doors or anything, so I go to the local pool <laughs> so I can have... <laughs> Somewhere I can do this, and I have two roommates wondering why I'm sudsing up and waiting 10 minutes and doing all of this stuff. And I go through this routine, and I would I check, and the, the worst things, I taught my friend's 10-year-old impersonation of crabs, I'll do it tonight. It's like that, but really tiny. Now imagine a lot of that on you. 
And still, I'm not getting rid of them. She was always mad at me for teaching her to do that. Um, and it would, they were still, you know, moving their little arms. And so I would try another product, and I'm like, please, please, God, don't make me have to go to the pharmacist and have to talk to them. First of all, I'm so afraid to use French at all. I don't know what the hell you call these things. I did find in a dictionary that they used the term the petits animaux, little animals. <laughs> Finally, I'm desperate and I go in and it's in late afternoon and the place has got all these people there and there's no privacy whatsoever. Finally, I get to the counter and I'm so scared, I'm dying inside and I say to the woman, she was like, uh, bonjour, comment je peux vous aider? Well, <laughs> I have little animals. <laughs> Praying that she knows what the hell I'm talking about. She's like, oh, in my mind, she's stepping back and like judging a lot. Uh, and everyone else around me in my mind is just backing up. <laughs> And then I, she goes, oh, okay, um, you see here? And I'm like, no, you bah. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes and pulls out this product that you've never seen in Canada. It's an aerosol spray. In France, they love aerosol spray cans and fizzy tablets. You'll get fizzy tablets for vitamins and antibiotics, everything. You put it in water and fizz it. It's great. Or spray it. So finally, I get this and I go back to the pool where I'm not doing any swimming. <laughs> and I spray on this stuff and I just pray that it works. Please, please work. And uh, sure enough, I check, and there's no more squiggly hands going on. And I miraculously volunteered to do all my roommate's laundry. I was such a nice guy. <laughs> I made sure nothing happened there. And that was my first adventure and my last adventure with wildlife. <laughs> in France, or ever, because crabs are really, like I was saying to my friend, a real 80s thing, because I haven't <laughs> gotten them since. I don't know if they still happen or occur. And to this day, I still don't know what they're called in French. So if anybody does know who's bilingual, let me know, just in case, after the show, discreetly. Thanks a lot. That's my story.